Odie, what's the summer been like for you coming off that bowl game, and, and how do you feel like it's kind of helped your game going into this training camp? Um, just keeping that same mindset that I had at uh, bowl practice um, and just keep keeping my uh, energy, uh, using my using my techniques, my urgency, my details, and just being accountable. Um, that's really it. OD, I know it's a new year, but looking back the last couple of years, being able to play with guys that are now in the NFL, it's not like it's, you know, the, 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 the Stephon Gilmore is the stuff that you guys hear. You mm -hmm. actually played with these guys. How much does that motivate you heading into this season, knowing that it's your time to be able to step up into that role? Oh, yeah, I think about that a lot. Um, behind JC, Izzy, Cam, and Rush, um, just seeing them go through, just knowing I can do the same thing. Um, so that's big for me. And... And then I'm in the position right now, so I'm going to get that happen, make that happen. Uh, obviously, you've got a lot more on your plate this year with, with Cam and Darius gone. What's the biggest thing maybe you learned about playing last year that has you ready for this season and more snaps? Uh, last year, just taking the uh, leadership from, like, Rush and Cam, how they was in the, uh, in the secondary room, and now I'm in that spot. Now i got to do the same for the younger guys and taking control of that and leading them the right way. So, yeah. <laughs> well, Donald, what have you seen from Marcellus on the other side and just what, what stands out about his game? His game, everything, man. Overall, me and him just like just alike. Um, that's how I feel, too. Uh, his game, he, he's quiet. He's going he's gonna to get it done, though. Um, technique kind of person. So uh, he's going to have a good year, great year. I know you and Tyreek Johnson went to different high schools. Did, did y'all know each other? Back in the day? No. Not no, at all? We didn't know it until, okay. until we came here. Yeah. But but I knew of him, though. Okay. Yes, sir. With, with him, you know, having a, a big offseason, uh, like we've heard about, what what have you seen from him just as yeah. he's come along? And dog. He's a dog. Um, this is his year. It's a breakout year. Um, and I feel like he's going to get it done. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing what he got. You got David Spalding healthy back in the secondary. What have you seen from him, and what can he bring to that group this year? Um, that energy and uh, just keeping everybody accountable. Um, just keeping everybody accountable. That's really it for Dave. O'Donnell, does it feel like you've been here four years? Four years. Already? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really have. And, and now you get to slide into probably a starting role. How exciting is that for you that you've kind of bided your time and, and put in the work and now it's kind of paying off for you? Um, just pray, pray day and night over it. Um, I'm excited, man. I'm ready to take this role and to have me and Sal at corners and just lock down. Um, I'm, I'm very excited for this season. And I'm prepared. How do you feel like your skill set translates to playing corner in the, the SEC? Oh, my, my length, my size, my feet. Um, I'm not, you know what I'm saying, a big guy, but I have a, you know what I'm saying, heart, and I have that that mindset, just like how Cam was. So uh, I'm going to translate that into the field. Appreciate it.